mix up. Team Tech United, they will be getting ready. And as you can see, also the Team Tech United also has a, a basket, so they won't be going for the full amount of points. Not taking the risk, there's a lot depending on this challenge right now. Hero is entering the arena. And now he's asking his questions and doing a thing. It's now looking for a waving guests. And I think one, two guests waving. the bartender for instructions and the bartender just gave those instructions to Hero so now it will start moving and it has found his first first guest is asking something successfully got the order and now it's moving to the bartender mm -hmm. to grab the order so the next uh, the next customer is uh, located a little more difficult it's more uh, yeah, to the back and it has to I just was reading the rule book. I saw that you get uh, points abstracted if you ask the bartender to put the drinks in the basket or ask the customer to pu pu to take them out. No, we don't get uh, any points abstracted for that. You don't? Oh, I, I just looked at the rule book that Matthijs sent me and it said uh, that you get points uh, subtracted. So I was wondering why most teams have this basket and not just grip it with the, uh, with the arm. But would it be possible to grab the drink itself and put it on the table? That's uh, extremely difficult uh, because uh, typically a customer always places an order with multiple objects. Then having a, having a robot run back and forth mm. uh, yeah, just costs too much time. And a lot of times uh, the robot is just not able to like lift the weight of the object by itself. So it's always better to just place it in the basket. Now it's looking for the second person. Uh, I think Hero is now trying to find the guest. Yeah, so Hero located the guest and then it asks the referee uh, if he can go and take the order from this person. And the ah, referee okay. needs to say either go take the order or just wait here. Alright, alright. So the referee told and, uh, the, yeah, referee let's told see, Hero let's see how move. he moves here between the tables. Ooh, that's right. Oh, that's super nice. he's moving right in. Yes, he finds the extra guest.
Yeah. Yeah, right. Yes. This was the second correct order. All right. And now it has to move back again, taking some risk with the basket. Yeah. Move and is okay. So it's not looking at the bartender. Is that is that a problem for points? No, that's not a problem. Not a problem for points. It's okay. just standing to the next to the kitchen table, uh, the kitchen bar. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah. you just uh, stand over there and ask the bartender to place the order in its basket. At least that's what the rules say. So uh, there has never been any question about uh, looking at the bartender while taking the order. And here we're moving again. Yeah, we always uh, give certain amount of time for the bartender to place the order. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's typically, a, I think, 30 odd seconds. Let's see if he can make it through the maze again. Oh, and there this, uh, is some smooth navigation <laughs> over there. <laughs> this customer is very, uh, very thirsty. It's. Uh, yeah, and it's, uh, you can it's see the referee shouting quite to happy the with the robot trying to navigate through this maze. Yeah. So yeah, uh, whatever we hear is also can be read on the screen, right? Or yeah, is it, it can different? Be on the uh, no, it's the same, it's thing. same instruction. Yeah. And I think the customer got his coke. He's happy. I think he also got a lemon with the coke. Ah, he got a lemon with the coke. Yeah. A co ah, maybe he wanted a lemon coke. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Well. Okay. It's, it's time for the final order. Okay, and do you know, uh, because I only saw two guests waving, do you know... Uh, what? Sorry, I did not... Uh, there are only two guests waving, right? There are two orders. I think this is it. This is it. Yes, this is it. Ah, grand applause, standing ovation. Yeah. Good job, Arpit.